It was a lot of fun. Um, I think we had about 25 people on the ride. Um, we think we saw about nine, 10 different sites. Uh, everyone was super interested in the sites that we saw, which is great. Um, there are a couple of hills, which is really nice to get out in the morning before I come back here and do tacos. We thought what a great way to spend the day to get out on bikes, to go around and see what's happening in the city. There was one big hill that I wasn't expecting that uh, gave, gave me the burn. Our initial vision was to create a community event that would appeal to the young members of the Social Capital Council, but also really highlight the community members that were involved in the um, land reclamation projects that GTEC undertook and highlighted on the bike tour. The Social Capital Council is a group of young professionals in a lot of different fields in the Pittsburgh area that really just want to support GTEC's mission and may otherwise not be able to be involved with the group. So we just help volunteer and, and spread the message. And so this event came together by some really talented individuals who um, wanted to get people exposed and participating in GTEC's activities and so thought about maybe a bike ride could be a way to do that. So we designed the bike tour to visit some of the most successful projects that we've worked on. We are actually also really grateful that the German Marshall Fund was trying to showcase how communities are addressing issues of land use and alternative transportation. And so it was just this uniquely perfect opportunity to host a bike ride, produce some videos that tell the story of some creative land use uh, projects and partners, and share some of Pittsburgh's best practices and lessons learned with some of our counterparts in cities across the Atlantic. In Connecticut, I actually work with a nonprofit organization called the Hartford Food System, and a lot of what we do is a lot of urban community, urban farming, community gardens kind of things. So it was really neat to see what's going on in Pittsburgh and kind of do some comparison, and it's neat to see that it's going on in a lot of different places. It was neat to you know talk to people who do the work and who are there every day and who care about you know making the community beautiful. A lot of people don't realize that 20% of Pittsburgh's land is vacant and unmaintained. In this neighborhood, Larimer, 50% of the land is vacant. So we have this sign and we really want to engage um, younger people in the discussion on what they want to see happen to that plant or to that land that's vacant um, in their city. Garden, green spaces, uh, fruit trees and other various things. Pop up your garden. Some public art. A cumulative green space. Pop up like sports stuff. Bike highways. Playgrounds. Pop up squash court. Little spaces that people could actually hang out. Open spaces. Communal space. Just sit and be around beautiful stuff. And a safe place. Um, yeah, I mean, those are the ones within the realm of feasibility. And I think that it's important to think about what is happening in that community and making sure that whatever you do with it is representative of the people who live there. We have mobile rovers who are walking around with uh, iPads and smartphones, and they're actually using this QR code to um, view the videos um, if they missed out on the bike tour. It's going to be food, there's going to be beer, there's going to be bikes, there's going to be games, it's, it's going to be good. I think we're excited to do things like Two Wheels, Lots of Green in the future uh, to get more people thinking about the community and how to transition wasted resources into community assets.